And now on to the to the next and final guest for uh, for, for this uh, show, uh, we have uh, Sebastian here uh, with us. Hello there. Hello. Hey. What's up, Ben? Yeah, pretty good. Thanks for having me. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff you've been showing here so far. So the 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 double the demos are cool. I think like they're starting to become cooler, right? Yes. Yeah, quite nice. So I really uh, like the new layout for this tutorial style, like the Terraform layout there. Um, yeah, quite cool. Yeah, you had a big part in, uh, you have a big part in uh, the foundational layers of this, right? Like basically all the Terraform stuff is uh, based on CDK te for Terraform. Yes, yeah, that's true. <clears throat> um, yeah, so it's quite, it's quite exciting to see it's, uh, it's being used in other contexts as well, right? So... Yeah, Far and yeah, that's. Tell us, tell us the the story. Tell us how it's how it how it got started. It's a fun story. How it got started. Um... Tell my version. <laughs> yeah, like, like, like my version is. Um, so I've been following the AWS CDK um, for a while, and then back in 2020, I believe, um, I saw you guys publishing CDKs like CDK for Kubernetes. And was like, okay, that's also just like some other configuration besides some cloud formation. Maybe there's some room for something like um, Terraform as well, since I was in a project back then, um, essentially, you know, doing like a plain cloud migration kind of thing. And we were looking for tools like this, right? And there was really nothing. And well, like a couple of evenings later, I had like a little prototype working based on the CDK stuff. and. Well, published on Twitter. That's how I met Elad uh, and got into touch with HashiCorp. And yeah, it turned out you were sort of working on a similar thing. So it was um, well, good timing, I guess. And yeah, um, timing was beautiful. I love, <laughs> I love this. I, I think like, this is the beauty of like open source and community. And like, I think like th that's how like awesome things happen. And yeah. it was like from my side, it was just. Unbelievable to see the to, to see this from the side in a way, right? Like it was like really amazing to see like this thing pop up on the internet. Some idea was sparked, and the, some alignment, right? And there was some alignment because we've been working on this more, more kind of like just as an idea, and just spent a little time prototyping. Really, right? we didn't really invest resources in this, yeah. and then when this alignment happens, and you just like. Anyway, it's really amazing. And so you you basically w worked at Hashi for a few years and built this from the ground um, up. Yeah, like I, I think in total it took like uh, from the initial prototype to becoming um, well production ready in a sense. Um, you know, like it's like commercially supportable by, by HashiCorp. It took like roughly two years, and that's essentially the time I spent there. Um, like first as a contractor, but then I, I switched to like a to a full time role and uh, build up the team and uh, yeah it was a quite nice time and yeah and now you see your little your little thing uh, being used in other projects really yes fun. actually i did some consulting project later on uh, which actually were using this so um yeah it's quite no but i mean like as a foundation to other projects which to me is like oh yeah yeah sure uh, like, like uh, we're relying on cdk for terraform like the wing is built on cdk for terraform and it uses the yeah. You know, the ecosystem, like one of the one of Wing's cool features is that you can, I mean, you'll actually show it, right? So I'm not going to, but <laughs> okay, so let's talk yeah, about like, it. Actually, like nothing compared to, to the demos which are happening already, um, but uh, like as a chance to have like to bring some fresh eyes on the project and um, you know, I really discovered it like from a user's point of view from the get-go, uh, which was quite interesting, uh, like witnessing journey um, to Tell us just... More. <laughs> so just you know, like without looking at the, at the code, uh, just trying to to be to, to be using it by, um, by reading the documentation, looking at other code like other examples maybe, uh, using the VS Code integration like the um, the plugin for VS Code, and yeah, well, like um, I don't know, like I think I started uh, you know like. Actually, like roughly a month ago, right? Uh, but I'm in part time, right? So like I'm not spending full time. So, but still, it took a while to to get my feet wet. Um, discovered like a 
few bugs, uh, like <laughs> color bugs <laughs> along the way. Um, but yeah, quite quite interesting certainly. And I think what's really um, like like what's really like interesting me in, in there is the, for example, the testing stuff. Um, so I've spent quite some time trying to figure out like some testing capabilities around CDK for Terraform, AWS CDK, you know, like how is it possible to test this in a, like, you know, like in a, in a test driven automated fashion. Mm. And, and we've, got, we've, got some, we've got some like language primitives for testing, which is, I think, yes. I, I, I really, I'm excited about that. Yes. Uh, yeah, me too. And that's really where it gets, gets interesting since it's like, uh, and I'll show this in a second, since it's possible to, to do like, uh, like local test plus cloud test, like integration test uh, based from the same code base, which was trying to, to sort of build in like natively for AWS CDK or CDK for Terraform. And it's really difficult to do. Uh, it takes a long time. It's really uh, long iterations. Um, so it's like, uh, that's certainly uh, pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, with CDK, AWS CDK, you can't really run yeah. your application locally, right? Like there's no solution for that. And so it's either you- Well, I think in, in theory you could code. sort of, but um, it's difficult, yes. Like lots of boilerplate setup, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you need your runtime code. You basically, you need your inflate, your runtime code to run within some kind of a simulated environment, but you're not really creating a simulated environment. You usually just like <clears throat> mock up some requests and responses, which is my worst nightmare, basically. It's like writing a Lambda function and writing unit tests for Lambda functions. It's like, and if you want to do your, a good job, <laughs> you're suffering the most. It's <laughs> like, so feels redundant like why am i mocking something that's like here to help me yeah and, uh, and then the other part is like your infrastructure tests and then i think the best we did in the cdk was snapshot testing right like it wasn't really like... yes <clears throat> yeah sure like snapshot testing yes um no, but i was really after it's like these these end-to-end -end integration tests so i was really deploying everything from scratch to uh you know to have some and try to tweak it and make it faster deployment but it's 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 really difficult to do so yeah that's um that's just one thing. And, and then I think it's really like the simplicity of the SDK itself, right? To have like the resources at hand uh, and connect them together. Like um, given that it really works the way um, and you know, it's like really like a one-to-one -one equally working version locally and in cloud, um, that's quite attractive. Yeah, yeah. And, and we're actually working, we've spent some time recently and in, we're working on like this basically, uh, we have testing for all the for for all the resources of the SDK. I think we can we will probably sh we have to talk about this uh, one of the shows, but we have all the resources at the SDK, and each resource has a bunch of wing tests, right? Like so, the wing applications that test it, and and then we run all these tests at, before we release, and so we literally the plan, and we're not finished with this project, but the plan is that every release we're going to test the entire matrix, right? Like of all the resources mm. across all the cloud providers. And, and that's what we call guaranteed to work, right? Like that's kind of like one of the yeah. design tenets. Uh, because again, if if we if there's a contract and we have a, testing, a test that verifies that the contract is adhered across all the providers, then this is a solid abstraction, right? Like it's non-leaky in that sense. Like, But we have to test it. We have to actually like... Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, I can just jump into. Yeah, go ahead. My... Yeah. Like, I don't think anyone has already seen already the, the the example that's the examples that you're working on, and I'm very curious to see. Uh, so, uh, how do you do this? Uh, probably that's the easiest. Oh yeah, Inception. Hang on. So, um. Yes, I said, right? So, um, so when I was starting out, like the, the, the rough idea we had was um, to build like an examples project, um, which, which consists of like a few examples. Um, you guys have been working on a few examples already. There was like a, like a Winkathon uh, with like a few dog pooling project. Um, and the initial idea was to, to move them over to the examples repo. 
Um, and actually, that's not really happened so far um, <laughs> due to due to like a few um, you know like blockers uh, along the way. So I, think I think a, a joint in I think, a, a joint... You, I think it's due to you being really excited about running all these tests in parallel, every CI, <laughs> doing it like properly, which I love by the way. I think yeah, like... yeah. Sure. I can show that in the in a second, yes. Um, and, but I think also joined in an interesting time where it's like uh, there's lots of change happening in the project, and uh, so interfaces changed, uh, resource got renamed to class, and you know like documentation is outdated a bit, and so it's like really just to get the basics going. Um, if you have no context at all, um, is quite uh, quite interesting. Yeah, I mean I um, think it's really fascinating. I'd love to spend more time. You know, just like kind of like reviewing your experience, right? Like, I feel like yeah. it could be really, fun, really valuable for us to basically kind of like work, work like Ayal is work is Ayal and Shire have been working a lot on the documentation lately, and I think like trying to rethink our documentation and make sure that the experience is like way more streamlined. And I think like your snapshot could be super useful. Oh yeah, yeah. I've been talking with Ian already, uh, and um, yeah. So yeah, I think that's that conversation is going on already, um, but could probably be like maybe like a bigger group. I don't know. Um, could make Excellent. sense. Um, so what I actually started out is with just using the hello ring example from the documentation, since so I thought, well, it's, it, you know, this should be certainly working, and it actually did to to for the most part. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and I think what like the only thing um, which which uh, was a bit difficult was that I don't know I, I'm not sure if I can show this like you know the when you start the console which runs the the application locally um, and it starts up ah, it actually works okay since I think since I like I, I had the the, the since, test since thing you here or like five different five new versions of the <laughs> console <laughs> yeah yeah probably yes. Uh, but at some point, like the the, the diagram here was not running, um, but yeah, detailed. Um, but yeah, that's essentially like the the ring hello uh, hello world um, example, uh, which works with a little little nice test which I mentioned already, right? So so rather than testing this manually, um, there's like an automated test which is like the like the new test declaration syntax in in ring. Um, which I believe translates to like an inflight function, if I'm not totally wrong. What do you think about it? Um, it's it's good. I like the simplicity. Uh, the the major concern was, or like the problem I had was, how do I specify like a timeout? Mm. Like how do I pass options? Um, yeah. I think there are workarounds by essentially defining it as an inflight function, like explicitly. Um, but that's not really so. I create an issue for for that as well. And um, yeah, but yeah. For, me, for me, the other thing is like I think it needs to be in flight test. Um, to be aligned with the other declaration types. The context, the context, the internal context is an in flight context. It's not a pre flight context. Yes, uh, it's what, what I said. Right, so I'm assuming it's like an in flight context. Um, so which means it would be actually deployed to AWS, right? So if I would run this against AWS, it would be actually deployed as a Lambda function, right? Yeah, and again, the, the point is not if it's deployed on a Lambda function or not, the point is that the when you're interacting with the objects outside of it, you're interacting with their in-flight API. You're not interacting with their pre-flight yeah. API. You're crossing yeah. the boundary, right, between pre-flight and in-flight. Yeah. That's the important part, right? Like the fact that whether it's how it's running, it's not really, doesn't really matter, right? Like it could run in a Lambda function or in a... Or... Yeah, well, I mean, sure, mm, doesn't matter. I mean, for the user, probably not really. Um, Shouldn't matter. I mean, it, it would only matter in, in terms of update cycles, like uh, it takes probably longer to update the test. If it only would work in tests uh, and I would run this against AWS, like there would be like a longer feedback loop con in contrast to having to have this run locally. Um, yeah. yeah, anyway. Um, 
And yeah, but uh, so like the, the Halloween example, uh, so it was great. And, and then as, as Ina mentioned already, so my, my idea was I, I would like to test this uh, since I think the, at least what I took away from the initial conversations was uh, the, the idea is really to test these examples uh, against the simulator, like the Halloween console uh, sort of thing, plus against any supported target, which I believe as, as of today, the only officially supported like fully supported across all, everything is um, the LOS target. The TF yeah, AWS. Yeah, the, the target. TF AWS target, sorry, yes. Um, and that's what it is, right? So there's like um, two workflows and let's start with the Wing SDK, but it's probably easier to just show in the... Ooh. Uh, <laughs> um, right, so we have the SDK Can you, test. Can uh, you your uh, font size? Yeah, sure. Bit? Um, right, and so we see, oops. So we do like a, like a dynamic matrix build, which means like each example will be built as an individual job, which makes it easier to spot if there is like an issue with one of the examples, uh, rather than having to trawl through like a ton of logs in one single global executor. Um, and so you have like the Hello Bing example in the simulator and the LOS, and you would have like any other any other example um, as part of this as well. And so, then if you click on it for a second. Okay, and here it's basically deploying to an AWS account and uh, everything. Uh, yes, so there's, uh, exactly. So this is this is using the GitHub um, OpenID Connect um, version. So GitHub Actions uh, is hooked up to AWS via OIDC. And this, like this integration of the role setup for this was actually also built with Wing, using um, the like the like the CDKTF, like the direct CDKTF integration, um, and that's where these examples are stemming from, right? So there's like the Hello Wing example is like the SDK example, which works universally across all supported targets and oh, provides like specific. Portion. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. And the provider specific examples are you know, like tailored to, um, it, for example, like using like a CDKTF Terraform module, right? Like being able to use some module without having to use like an NPM package, which is, which is wrapping this and providing types. Uh, it's going to be untyped, what you get here, but it, it still works. And that's how it was built. I can show this if you want in a second. And there's also AWS CDK integrations, like the Hello Wing, as an explicit Hello, um, Hello Wing. Uh, like the Halo Wing example as AWS CDK version. The one that and it's, it uh, compiles to the AWS CDK, to cloud users, you can use cloud formation to deploy it, basically. Exactly, that's what it did, or like that's what it does. It's using um, yeah, like a little shell script to do like the, the magic that's needed to actually make this work, since this, this was like another little bug, so that you need like the globally installed AWS CDK lib package alongside your Wing Oh, package. right, right. Mm. Because we removed um, this from the bundle. It, it was originally bundled into the yeah, right. SDK. Yeah. <laughs> and it was basically 90 something megabytes of uh, cube control uh, Docker images. <laughs> right. Yeah, and then it's really uh, just, just, just compiling. Hmm? What I said, I actually added them to the AWS CDK, the cube control uh, <laughs> Docker images. <laughs> Um, and then like after the compile, it's really just uh, like a normal CDK deploy workflow for the most part, right? Nice. From just, uh, wow, this just is the, the, the amazing. Step. And then uh, since like uh, Mar Marcio, I think believe it was his name, uh, was brought up already. Um, he helped me with the AWS CDK part um, when I ran into problems there. And he like, you know, like he gave me some examples and uh, which is like a native AWS CDK Docker image function thing. So which builds like a little Python container and publishes as a function. And um, that's also like working and you know, it's nice. going to be built. Um, it's all running in CI. That's all running in, yeah, sure. That's, that's all running in sure, CI. No, <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, that, that's sure. Cool. The that's provider specific cool. tests. But these are only ran against um, the actual targets since there's no local, local simulator version, right? So, but that's like the, the same idea. 
um, you get the different projects and the dedicated jobs. And yeah, and if you want, I can, uh, but you're probably running out of time, but uh, there's also the OpenID Connect version, uh, which is, that's the research one. Yeah, these are actually the, the projects with which we gonna, at least to some extent, I think, um, gonna extract and move it over, yes. Um, and then this is like this little GitHub oil open, open ID connect thing, um, which is using like a dedicated CDKTF integration, right? So it's using the Terraform asset helper, which moves your local assets from your project into the deployment target folder. Uh, it can zip it, uh, you know, can folders, individual files, whatever you want. Um, it's using like um, Terraform functions. So CDKTF itself provides a typed function or typed access to supported Terraform functions. Oh, cool. So this reads just the content of the file. Mm -hmm. which is, and then here's this Terraform HTML module, uh, which actually does the magic of you know, pro, um, setting up the provider and setting up the role. You can add like the policies and then you're good to go. And yeah, so. This was then, I think like this was, this came last year and this is where it really started to, to, to flow a bit. Uh, it was like, okay, that's, uh, that's, that's going now. So you mean like, uh, I see, got it, got it. No, I, it, the provider is, uh, the, OD, the IDC provider is really cool because I feel like it's the first production. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Literally the first production code that runs that was written in Wing that uses CDKTF. No, we have Chris's. Uh, oh, we have Chris's one. release uh, bot. That's another one. And ah, my yeah. bot that just lists all the tests <laughs> and it just adds more. Time. I'm like, it, I don't read it anymore. <laughs> Long story. Yeah. So, but yeah. Um, so, yeah, it, it certainly has been lots of fun, uh, lots of um, issue curation in GitHub, uh, lots of conversations on Slack, uh, with, which were like really like responsive, uh, quite responsive. Um, um, like also from community, I think. Um, so not only you know like from the Wing core team, but also like from from other people, which was quite nice. Um, so yeah, so it's uh, a lot Dude, of fun and uh, lots so, of stuff to do. So 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 fun to work together. I remember like we've never actually worked together. I think right. Like I feel like it's uh, we've always. Uh... Kind of, we did a little project, like some projects uh, with the uh, yes, the yeah, TF, There's some like... collaboration uh, type of thing, right? So um, yeah, the AWS CDK, CDKTF prototyping. Uh, yeah, right. Like, like the the the, the L two support uh, project, <laughs> right? That. Yeah, which actually works to some extent today, right? So it's like um, quite quite nice. And Pulumi are all also using it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Pulumi are also yeah. Pulumi have Pulumi has a CDK support, and they're using the L2 integration so that you can actually use any any CDK any any AWS CDK and CDK for Terraform resource within your Pulumi application. Nice. Yeah, and they actually built also the asset integration, so not only the L2 um, like oh, the contract nice. integration. Um, so, which is not really working. I mean, I think it's pretty simple to build uh, in the yeah. end. Uh, so the foundation is the same. I, it's the same. It has to be built, uh, and yeah, they build it. And so far, in I think CDKTF, well, you have to invent your own kind of thing. Sebastian, pleasure. Great to have you. Yeah, thanks for having me. Lots of fun. Well, uh, invite you more to make... give us some talk. Share, you know, your thoughts. I think, like, uh, I, I really wanna. You know, keep your pulse and make sure yeah. that we're, you know, keep us honest. It's really, yeah. really useful for, really important. Yeah, extremely. <laughs> cool. Bye. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, and thank you, everyone, for uh, for bearing with us uh, or over time. So uh, we're going to. Five minutes over time. <laughs> this is not easy. Sorry. <laughs> not supposed to that, say that. Um, Anyway, Although so you we're, can talking, say. we're gonna cut it anyway. Um, <laughs> so thanks everyone for uh, watching. I was Eyal, and uh, <laughs> and that was Elad. And, uh, Hi. <laughs> Bye. See you later. No, 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 no.